A standard form for the position of an object in simple harmonic motion is a times cosine omega t plus phi. We can find the angular frequency omega straight away because it equals square root of k over m, the spring constant over the mass. Substituting those values shows us that omega is 12.25 radians per second. Now let's write the block's velocity as a function of time. That's the derivative of position, so minus a omega sine omega t plus phi. And next, write the position and velocity at time equals zero that were given in the problem statement. At time zero, the position is 0.2 meters, and substituting t equals zero into the position equation gives us a cosine phi. We don't know either the amplitude a or the phase constant phi. Doing the same thing for the velocity v, we get velocity at time zero, that's minus four meters per second, and substituting into the expression above gives us minus a omega sine phi. If we divide the expressions for the velocity and position at time zero, we see that the unknown amplitude cancels, leaving us with only one unknown, the phase constant phi. If we substitute the initial velocity is minus four meters per second, the known value for the angular frequency, and 0.2 meters for the initial position, and then take the inverse tangent, we find that the phase constant is 58.5 degrees, or because of the quadrant ambiguity in the inverse tangent function, it might also be 180 degrees larger, 239 degrees. We need to sort out which one of these values is correct. One way of doing that is to notice that sine of 239 degrees is negative. It's in the third quadrant. So if that was the value of the phase constant, the velocity at time zero would be minus a omega times this negative value. There's two negatives there, which means that the initial velocity would be positive. But we know it's not because it's minus four meters per second. So this must not be the phase constant. It must be the first value, 58.5 degrees. That's the answer to part B. Part A asks us for the motion's amplitude. There are many ways to find it. One way is to use the position at time zero. That's 0.2 meters, and we know that that equals A cosine of phi. We know the phase angle phi now, so substituting that value shows us that the amplitude is 0 0.383 meters. Now we can solve part C, which asks us for the block's position as a function of time and we just need to substitute the known amplitude, the known angular frequency omega, and the known phase constant phi. It's customary to write that phase constant in radians instead of degrees, so if you convert by multiplying by pi over 180 degrees, you see that it equals 1.02 radians.